everybody. I'm excited today to share with you my January sewing and my February sewing plans. February is a short month, so there will, will be fewer items, but hopefully more me items. Let's start with January. So I had some things I was going to sew for my daughter and I got those done. Start off with some long sleeve shirts. So I was using up my stash and we used up this pink with white stripe and we just used the white ribbing and she's really enjoyed it. And then I made a sweatshirt for her and she picked this fuchsia colored ribbing. With this, this was the first thing I cut out and I cut it out as a size 10 which was a mistake. In off the rack clothes she's a size 10. When I sew for her I need to do an 8 and then lengthen it. And I did a 10 and shortened it. It's really boxy but it works for the purpose I was making it so that she could put it over and layer things because she's been chilly this winter. Then another stash buster was using up this floral with this blue and we made this long sleeve shirt for her. So that turned out really well. I didn't have enough to do floral in the back so it's just the solid um, piece and on the sleeves I made it so it looks like it's a layered tee. So there's a, a hem anyway on it that one and then oh I still have a couple things for her then the other item I made for her was this mock turtleneck is what we call it um, in this pretty plum color and it's worked really well for her especially when we're doing our outdoor winter activities like skiing then the other thing I made for her are these fleece pants a couple of things that I love to do when I make pants for my kids is to have a surprise in the pocket. So these pockets, I didn't have enough of it, but because they're for when she goes skiing and playing in the snow, I have some skier fabric inside. I'm sure there's an easier way to pull these pockets out. Here we go. Some skier fabric inside her pocket. However, I didn't have enough, and so it's just this one pocket, one side, and then the rest are snowflakes. And she's really enjoyed these. She's worn them to school just because, Mom. <laughs> That's fine. The other thing that I have been doing lately is putting a tag in the back of the clothing items with the size on it so that I remember what size it is uh, for kids growing. It's, it's helpful to me to know, oh, that last year you I made that in a 7-8. This year I should make it in a 7-8 but lengthen it or whatever. So... I just put an elastic waistband in the pant. This is the quick sew pattern. All of these have been for her. And then I just did a hem on the bottom. I didn't want any elastic because when you wear them with um, ski boots, you want to be able to keep them out of the boot. Then my son, youngest son, was feeling left out. And so I was at a quilt um, shop with my mom. They have a big January sale and she called me and said, let's go, and so we did. And I found this baseball fleece and he is a baseball enthusiast during the summer and so I got this to make his pants and then she had some baseball fabric woven quilters fabric and I put that in for the pockets and he loves them um, has worn them every chance he can till they say that is it you've worn them for three days can I please wash them Anyway, that's really fun as a mom or anyone who sews to see someone that you sew for um, want to wear the item that you made so much. Then the, <laughs> the nightgown that I made turned out, despite the saga with getting the fabric, not having enough fabric, getting more fabric, the fabric coming, it's now done. <laughs> and I will insert a video or a picture of me wearing it here. This turned out exactly as I planned. As you can tell from the picture, it's not a flattering nighty type nightgown. It is made for me just for warmth, comfort, and nostalgia. And if you want to hear the story about all that, you'll have to watch my other sewing videos. But basically, it's a really old pattern that I have made before, and those pajamas were out, and I made another pair, another nightgown for me. And the fabric is all about matching with my daughters for Christmas. And um, the picture shows one of my daughters with her matching nightgown. And both of them said when they saw my nightgown, they're like, Oh, you have lace on yours! So 
if I make the same pattern next year for nightgowns uh, for my daughters, I'm going to have to incorporate this bit of eyelet lace. They really thought that was uh, a nice touch, and I do too. It's, it's definitely a throwback. So, uh, that is January. I really did a lot of sewing. I felt like that's kind of all I did every spare minute, and I really did enjoy it. So, that was good to find out that I really can sew all the time and have a good time with it. The other thing is I started a counted cross stitch and that was fun for movie nights. And so on to February, I will be continuing my counted cross stitch and um, then I will be making things for me. I'm trying to decide which one to go for. Okay, so the kids are home from school. I forget the days they have early release and I'm always like filming when they come home, but they're home and settled now. So, Butterick 5, no, it's Butterick B5246. I'm going to do view A. I've done view C before, and it has kind of a cross panel piece that goes over, and I had problems with that with the jersey knit, and I decided I didn't really like the extra bulk on the bodice, and I need to lengthen the bodice because the seam hits just under the bust and I didn't get that right and so I was constantly tugging on it and that's one reason why I got away. I gave that dress away. So I'm going to look for a jersey for this when I go into Joann's tomorrow. If I can't find anything then I will be hitting up fabric.com and I found some on there that I thought would be really fun to do so we'll see what I come up with. It's kind of up in the air. I'd like to do a floral. Then if I get that finished, fabric found and all that finished, then I'd like to do in a cotton woven, probably just a quilter's cotton floral of some kind or a dot, this new look 6836 and I'd like to do view B which has a bell sleeve and no ruffles at the placket. get you kind of a close-up. So that's what I'd like to do with this for my second make. The goal is to be able to do these blouses. I think they'll be very flattering for me and be able to do them in several different um, kinds of fabric. They have a wide selection of fabric you know, ideas back here from cotton, cotton blends, silk, silk types, charmeuse, jacquards, linen, and linen blends. I'd really like to do a linen one in this this one the model is wearing without the little petals on the placket. I just think that would be really fun for summer um, to wear, but I I don't know. This will be a trying out and I've had this pattern for a long time and not used it. My mom actually bought it for me and she bought one for her and I have yet to use it and I've really been wanting to try this one out. So this is my I hope I get to and this is my definitely happening just have to find fabric. So that is my February plans. Thanks for sticking with me through the interruptions and I appreciate you watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below of what you might be making this month. I'd love to see um, some of the things that you might be making. If you have a link to a YouTube channel that's great or a blog or just list it for me that even works. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this that lets me know kind of what everyone is um, enjoying to see on the channel and we'll catch you next time.